So pulling your mate out of a crevasse is a bit of a panicky kind of uh, manoeuvre usually and you want to simplify that as much as possible and to that end you'll have introduced the, uh, the backup crevasse system which is a sort of pre-assembled pulley system um, and Justin's just going to talk us through it because it looks complicated but it's actually more simple than something that you're going to be able to assemble sure. from parts yourself isn't it? Exactly yeah okay so cheers Dan. So what we have the uh, the backup crevice system uh, will come uh, packed in this uh, blue bag. Right. Okay. Uh, at the other end of the bag, we have this this smaller bag. So right. rope stored in the blue bag. Yeah. We have all the metalware stored in the red bag. Okay. Uh, it's all pre-assembled to speed up the whole recovery of uh, rescuing your mate out of a crevasse. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So the way the system works, fairly straightforward. The uh, system first relies on you establishing a, a suitable anchor, whether okay. that be a, an ice screw, uh, a, a ski buried into the snow or yeah. perhaps a rock. Mm -hmm. um, so that's represented here with the slings. Right. Okay, so once you've established your anchor, what you can do, we have the, the, the backup line itself. Right, this is like five mil or something. It's five mil, yeah. yeah. So this particular rope is uh, a combination of uh, polyester and uh, uh, aramid. Okay. Um, so it's uh, it's quite it's good for uh, abrasions resistance. Right. right okay. Sensible. Okay. Um, what we can do once you've established your anchor, uh, you at the top as the the rescuer, if you like, yeah. can attach to uh, a prusik, this right. jammy here. Okay. It'll enable you to approach the edge mm -hmm. uh, in safety, so you yeah. don't fall over the edge. Yeah. Uh, once you've got yourself in a position where you can't fall, you can then throw the uh, the blue bag down to your mates. Okay. Um, in the bottom of the bag, there's a pre-tied uh, knot. Right. Uh, if it's only a short distance, then your mate perhaps can tie a knot midway up. Yeah, okay. Your, your choice. <laughs> okay. Or well, your mate's choice. Um, once your mate's attached, what we can do then is we can take in any slack rope mm -hmm. through this tracked up. It's a, it's a rope clamp. Yeah, okay. okay. Right. So we keep taking in the slack. This will just uh, slide out the way. And then once you've taken in all the slack and the rope is uh, taut mm -hmm. on your mates, what you can do then, we have, uh, just move this out of the way. Yeah. We can slide this rope clamp down the rope. And if we pull on this end, it gives us uh, a pulley ratio, theoretically, of three to one. Right, okay. Uh, good mechanical uh, advantage. Good mechanical advantage. Yeah. The idea is when we start pulling, you'll see the rope will pass through this tracked up rope clamp here. Yeah. So the idea is we can pull the rope through, yeah. and then when we let go of the, the, the pulley system, the rope will lock in place. Lock in place there. Brilliant. And we so. can progress the lift that way. Brilliant. Okay. Hike okay. your mate out. Fantastic. Yeah. Happy days. Looks good. Yep. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers Justin.